What's going on guys? As you know the boys at Mystical Merchants have been a real driving force behind the product you see here on Cardboard Cane. And recently, yeah, they've gotten a fleet of vending yeah, machines out there in the Sydney wild for you guys to continue your trading card addictions on the fly. The one I'm visiting today is their newest one over in Roseland's shopping center right across the reject shop on the ground floor. They have another two over in Hurstville Central, pretty much at the train station, with the other one being in North Rocks shopping center outside the Kmart. So inside looks like we're stocking quite a bit of modern English and Japanese, One Piece and Pokemon, along with some of the older sets in the mix. And yes, that is Cosmic Eclipse, you see there. And trust me, it took me everything not to give it a cheeky go. They have another two over in Hurstville Central, pretty much at the train station, with the other one being in North Rock Shopping Center outside the Kmart. I've yet to visit those two yet, but stay tuned as I very much intend to make the trip out those ways very soon. The process is pretty simple, punch in the numbers of the pack you want, let the machine magically drain your bank account, and wait for the elevator to pop up and safely escort your choice to the bottom compartment, wait for the green light, and then proceed to claim your bounty. With that being said, I kind of lost count of how many packs I ran away with, and while I was considering getting some Macca's Nuggies and cracking these in the food court, I decided against it, traveled home to see what magic we'd rip from these packs. Alright, and we are back at the table. Now, this is a little bit different to how I usually do these videos, but hopefully, we run into some luck. As we know, I've been hunting the Greninja for some time now, and hopefully we've run into some mystical magic during this video, or during this uh, outing to the vending machine. Jeez, I got straight into that. Didn't even realize what I was doing then. Um, yes, we have been hunting for this Greninja for quite some time. Unfortunately, my master set for Twilight Masquerade, no hit on our first pack, has been delayed by quite a bit. <laughs> As I thought it would be. Um, I was also thinking during the times of the Master Set videos I haven't made, I haven't made the 151 one. And that was purely because I think at one time I was waiting for the promo variants to come in because I thought it'd be cool to kind of capture them. Unfortunately though, those got delayed to the point that they still... Dragapult? Not bad, not bad. Good hit to get. Good hit to get, considering I am a competitive player and people love the bling. Um... Unfortunately, those uh, promos also got delayed into Oblivion, and I didn't really think about doing it, so maybe that's something I have to do in the near future as well. I definitely will. I think once those promos do get here, I'll make it. It'll be like kind of like an out-of-nowhere video, be like, huh? The 151 was a year ago. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> There's too much on my plate. There's too much Pokemons. And nothing there. Monkey Dory. I don't like this card anymore. Um, I've played against it quite a bit, and this guy has absolutely torched me, so don't like it. But yes, so we have gotten back from the Mystical Merchants uh, vending machine over in um, Roselands. Obviously, I'm a Sydney cider, so they do have a few more. I will leave their locations in the description below, as I mentioned earlier on in the video. But it's pretty cool to actually see them going up in the world. And, oh, wow, okay, there's that mystical magic right there, it's, it's not the Greninja, but, <laughs> it ain't no, and another Monkey Dory, it ain't no Greninja, but, <laughs> that is, that is awesome, wow, um, well, there you go, there's your 100% proof that the machine's hits are not filtered, because, you know, obviously there are going to be those naysayers out there of, uh, you know, oh, but, you know, they just put stock in there that, you know, they've already filtered through. No. Nah. I will, I will swear on my life, you can trust these guys. Always, always go to Mystical if you need your product because they will look after you. And they will look after you well. Unfortunately, it is very easy in this hobby to be um, to be scammed, unfortunately. To be taken for a bit of a ride. I mean, I don't know much about the other uh, independent sellers around, but you know, oh wow, geez. <laughs> the, the hits just keep on coming. What's going on? Um, in that sense of like, we've all, we've all probably during this um, hobby ordered from places like Amazon and eBay and all that kind of stuff and gotten the short stick very very often and we've all probably learned our lessons very early on 
So if you are if you are Australian, oh Jesus, what is that? <laughs> like I, I haven't reached for these sleeves. Like what is going on? Hello? Um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, now I lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was talking about. We're talking about blah blah blah. blah going on. Oh, no, there's a bent card in there. I don't like that. Um, yeah, we've all been burnt pretty early on, and we've all learned our lessons. Um, of where to buy stuff and where to get it from, but if you are, there we go, if you are an Australian, if you are, um, like, even if you're not a Sydney sider, if you're, like, interstate, I'll leave the, 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 the links are in my description all the time as well. You can trust these boys. You can trust them. Pricing is really amazing. Delivery of product is amazing, and as you can see, <laughs> the quality of the hits are amazing as well. It'd be just, it'd be great if we hit that Greninja though, you know what I mean? It'd be, it'd be sick. Alakazam. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I kind of did go a little bit overboard when I did go to that thing. <laughs> to that, to that vending machine. Because, I don't know. In, in Sydney, it feels like Twilight Masquerade's becoming a little bit... It's starting to get to that point of scarcity. Which is scary. Because that means that, um, the chances of Greninja is, uh... Slipping away from me very quickly. And, uh, yeah. Which also means that the price of Greninja is probably going to go up soon. So I'm going to have to probably bite the bullet soon and just give up on trying to crack it and just go and buy it, unfortunately. Especially if I want to make that Master Set video and just be like, yep, I've got a completed set of this and a completed set of this, a completed set of this. Oh, there we go, I was about to say no hitting a little bit. Well, so far, I think we bought... I think I bought like 16 packets or something. <laughs> and so far, we've got... 5 hits. One of them being an alt art, so already we can kind of say that... If we get a little something something else here... Maybe a cheeky Eevee IR or something... Then we've uh, more than broken even. If not, we're up a little bit. Which is always what you want. <laughs> okay. The, uh, the old Macago again. <laughs> I mean, you can't complain. You know, the great thing about that is that Macago is that it's actually, it's actually working its way into a few decks. So we've got five packets to go. And I have a funny feeling I'm going to be visiting that machine again. <laughs> Wait, no, you don't go there. You go there. Haha. <laughs> All right. Napalm, Darumaka, Glamora, Snorlax, Morpeko, Ducklet, Infernape, and Frostlass again. Frostlass is also making its way into the meta now. Um, it's a very frustrating deck. So Twilight Masquerade actually does have quite a few good cards in there. Like it got a lot, quite, It's got a lot of competitive cards sitting in Twilight Masquerade, which is not too surprising. And just more and more decks are coming out as the time goes on. So, not a bad set to open up if it's just sitting there in front of you and you're looking for a product to open. I feel like right now, Twilight Masquerade is the Lost Origin of Scarlet Violet, as Lost Origin was to Sword and Shield. Purely because I believe the Greninja is like on the same kind of level as the, uh, as the Giratina. I don't think um, Scarlet Violet has its Moonbreon yet, though. I don't think it's quite got its Moonbreon yet. It might, at some point. And Heatran. Alright, we got two packs to go. Also, guys, if you can, I've started up a TikTok channel as well, where soon we'll be doing streams and all that kind of stuff on there. There's a lot of content going up. Would appreciate all your support there. I'm going to be doing quite a few giveaways there as well to give back to you guys as time goes on as well. <gasps> oh, I got excited then. I was like, oh my god, it's an IR. It's, oh, it's Growlithe. It's not too bad. And then we've got a Chandelure in the back. Not too terrible, to be honest. I mean, these spread of hits are pretty cool. And I'm like, hitting into that Dragapult is really cool as well as a, a pull art. So there's our last packet. I believe I did buy 16. I can't, I lost count. <laughs> I lost count. I kind of just pushed buttons on the machine, let go, but we've got, out of 16 packets, we've got 
Seven hits. And we've got our last one here. Hopefully we can hit big. I feel like this Greninja is going to just absolutely elude me all the way up until the point that I've uh, gone and bought it. But let's see. Last pack. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, nothing coming out of there. But our hits. Let me just kind of rearrange these so they're kind of cool. There we go. We've got a Luxray EX. We've got a Makago EX. Another Makago EX. A Dragapult EX. A Hyper Aroma. A Growlithe IR. And then... Which is pretty cool. Because when you think about it... A Box of Twilight has 36 packets. And it could contain an alt art um from what i remember and what i experienced by absolute feel is that twilight masquerade's pull rates went down so far that i think it was like one in every two boxes every, one in every three boxes you get an alt art on average which is pretty pretty rough so to only have to spend like i don't know how many packets was it how many packets did we get we got if i count up <laughs> If I count up the code cards, they'll just kind of be randomly chucked around over here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was like 16. To be honest, my table is just full of other Twilight Masquerade openings that I've just like lost count, so I don't know if I'm picking up from another one or not. I could count the holos out, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, nah. It's, it, that's not going to work. The, be the better way to be is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Uh, 35 divided by 3. Almost 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, that should be 40. 40 divided by... Hmm. Now my brain's gone. What is the math? You do 40 divided by 3. Yeah, so it's about... Oh. Huh. Because you're going to get 3 per packet, right? So, 30, 39... Yeah? There might have been like an extra thing flying... Oh no, I think I put some of the stuff over here too. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> um, yeah, there's the other one. Okay, so yeah, I, I think I got roughly around 16 packets. Which is not too bad. That's pretty good. Happy. 16 packets. Getting an IR Growlithe. Getting a Ursaluna um, Alt Art. And a Dragapult Terra Full Art. Cannot complain about that. That is pretty good. I believe we are more than... More than struck even there to be honest with you. Love it. That's our mystical magic guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, if you guys do need product for Pokemon. If you're a Sydney Cider. You guys take it easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys get yourself some mystical magic. You can take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next one.